Hey YouTube, how's it going? I just want to take some time to do a uh, toolbox tour on my toolbox 68 Epic. That is the uh, breast cancer edition, as you can see. Um, a little background real quick. Uh, I am a diesel uh, fleet maintenance mechanic. Uh, that's basically how I would put it. Uh, the bread and butter of the work is, you know, PMs, aka federal inspections on, on the fleet, whether it be uh, the, the freight liners that I work on the utility and or great dane that we have in the fleet for the trailers i don't do the refrigeration half side of the trailer but i do do the back half like brakes tires wheel seals suspension electrical yada 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 minor welding when it comes to like ramp box repairs freight liners i do the pms as well uh we unfortunately do not do major overhauls in the shop unfortunately that's just the bitter truth of it but everything else, whether it's, you know, one box work, you know, DEF stuff, suspension, brakes, tires, wheel seals, engine diagnostics with uh, check engine lights for some part of it, just generic fleet stuff. And this is my box. And if you guys might notice that this might sound a little familiar, I did have another account with another video, but being uh, hacked twice, I just deleted the account, made a new one, and here's another video to update it. Um, excuse how the box is dirty and you know this is dirty but it's Friday I'm making a quick video before I go home I try to have a healthy mix of stuff I do lean certain ways of, of a brand name when it comes to certain stuff and some guys might say that's junk or it's dumb and you know what that is fair you are allowed to have your opinion but it has worked for me and I'm going to continue to do so uh, I have a lot of Milwaukee stuff, both power tools and hand tools. Uh, people say Milwaukee's hand tools are junk. I can kind of get behind that because some of the stuff is really bad. And the other stuff is like, hey, it just works. So I'm going with it. So on the back here, I have the uh, half inch drive, deep and shallow, left to right. That is both metric and standard. The majority of my drawer is metric on this side, standard on this side. Uh, I have the 3H drive, deep and shallow uh, Milwaukee impact sockets. Uh, they are on Tecton trays. This is the Tecton 3H drive chrome, deep and shallow. That goes from, I believe, what is this? 5 sixteenths? Yeah, 5 sixteenths to 3 quarter. Now you can order uh, 5 sixteenths to an inch. I didn't. Snap on extra deep, half inch drive, uh, 3 quarter. Uh, 20, uh, no, that's 24. This is the 15 16 and I use these, uh, 15 16 to 24 for the, uh, U bolts on the Freightliner M2 chassis straight trucks for the U bolts. And this is the cage, uh, bolt socket. Uh, Tecton metric, uh, 8 millimeter to 19 deep and shallow. Uh, Milwaukee, uh, 10 to 24 deep and shallow metric now keep in mind uh i do agree with a lot of comments i've seen online where the milwaukee sockets are kind of expensive for what they are i agree with that but remember between labor day memorial day christmas uh, black friday spring black friday that is a thing these sockets are pretty much 30 percent off half the time and that's how i got mine on various holiday sales um got the old hobo, hobo freight harbor freight allen set and security torques I don't use them a lot, so I don't need anything too fancy. Same thing for the Husky. I don't use Torx a whole lot, and until they constantly break, I, I, I'll upgrade them. Um, so I said, I, I, as I've said, I've had a healthy, a healthy mix of differences of brands. Get to the uh, tool truck stuff. As I already said, for them, they're snap on. These are snap on. This is the half inch drive uh, SAE impacts level set. This is the set all the way down to here, I believe. And then from here is the 3 8 standard. And then over here I have the Hobo Freight Impact and Chrome Reducer Adapters. And then I have a Milwaukee Impact Swivel Pinless. These are the Snap-on Metric Impact Swivels. These are miscellaneous, these four. But this is the metric set right here. I have the, I believe this is uh I don't know why this is the standard and it's over here, but this is the standard uh, driveline socket for the Freightliner U-joints. They're a half inch 12 point. Various Harbor Freight Lowe's and Home Depot adapters and reducers. Same thing right here. I have my uh, 
Uh, these are Allens of the metric. I had a little bit of a brain fart right there. I apologize. On the quarter inch stuff, Tecton quarter inch drive chromes, which I use on and off. My only thing I might change in the drawer is that I bought all these extensions on a whim because the company has a tool allowance and you know extensions are always good to have and i don't really know if i need all these i don't hardly ever use these the quarter inch chromes and by the way these are all icon all these are icon um i use them daily they don't let me down and i know really you'll need to spend money on tool truck for these for these that is if that bridge comes i will cross it but right now icons work just fine for me but these i don't really use too much and i'm thinking about kind of get rid of them for that extra space uh over here is the quarter inch um sae uh chrome sockets this is the transmission pressure sensor on the detroit 12 speeds uh it's a good used one i uh swapped one out and uh cleaned this one up as a good spare your 916 uh slack adjuster snap on various independent sockets i believe this is a tectin what's it half inch yep snap on half inch drive uh three quarter 12 point got this specifically for the drain plugs on the freightliner rear ends for pm services this was a mistake of a buy but it's worked here and there so i kept it it's a craftsman 27 millimeter 12 point deep and i bought this because the difference I love my Milwaukee sockets, I'll be honest, fanboy or not. But the profile in the socket, the Craftsman's just better. But I use these daily and they're fine. But in this example, that is better. As I said, Icon extensions, 3 8 impact, 3 8 chrome, half inch in impact, half inch chrome, quarter inch chrome. Uh, I don't exactly know what to call this it's a big torque adapter because here's the snap-on torque adapter these are both 30 millimeter um i'm almost positive this is a detroit part but i've used it for the caliper mounting bolts on the freightliners themselves and the trailers that we have that are air disc brake same thing for this depending on the restrictions i have both of them Uh, 34 millimeter crow's foot from snap-on uh, that was a I needed it in the moment and it worked and I used it a whole whopping two times in the last year but it works and it does its purpose for a steering box uh, bolts on the uh, inside of the frame on the 2017 and up Cascadia's or 2018 I should say uh, this is the Amazon special um, I'm gonna call it a it's, it's obviously a flare nut socket but uh for the fuel injector uh, seals on the Freightliners. I don't know if it's uh, seven or 19 or three quarter, but either way, it's in the ballpark and it works. Right angle uh, impact driver drill adapter, and the bit goes in here. Uh, I use it every once in a blue moon, but the few times I drag it out, I'm happy that I have it. Snap on slack adjuster uh, kit tool with the 516 square drive here. And then you put this up in the pawl to gently lift up on the pawl, so you can adjust with that. Various Milwaukee bit driver stuff. You got your Torx. Uh, this is some Harbor Freight. Uh, the extensions and adapters for the quarter inch. These are the magnetic metric, et cetera and so forth. Got some Phillips in here. Got some Milwaukee drill taps which with oil and low speed come in handy they're not perfect but they do come in handy both metric and standard uh front of the drawer i got i lean over here i got snap on uh half inch drive flex head ratchets snap on 3 h drive non-flex head ratchets milwaukee long quarter inch i don't know where it is but there should be a husky quarter inch drive i've had for three years can't complain it's three years old and works phenomenally milwaukee stubby three h drive snap on quarter inch or uh, three h drive on the left and half inch drive on the right bent handle flex head 
Over here, I got the 24 inch or 25 inch Icon half inch drive breaker bar. Behind that, if I can get it with one hand, snap on half inch drive, three foot breaker bar. And then behind that, I have the uh, Tecton 40 inch three quarter drive breaker bar. Comes in handy for breaking off the, uh, breaking free, I should say the uh spindle nut sockets on freight liners on the rear end that are 500 foot pounds what we got here this is a 30 millimeter three quarter drive that was my first attempt to make something work for the caliper mounting bolts way before i bought that tool i still use this from a time to time uh this is a 46 millimeter six point three quarter drive uh tecton socket for the DEF filters on the Freightliners, uh, the Cascadias, I'm 99% sure it's an SAE socket, but this was a very, very, very close metric socket, so I've always just kept it and used it. Uh, inch and 5 sixteenths inch drive impact for uh, any one inch drive, but in that cabinet, I have the Milwaukee one inch gun, the uh, six inch hand, uh, D handle on that. An adapter one inch or three quarter to one inch uh, I don't know why this is in here because I have one right over there this is the one and seven sixteenth uh, three quarter drive socket got this from years ago from tractor supply to do the fuel filter um, hex for you know oil changes and, and all that fun stuff on the 30Ks, it's either oil, fuel, def, all three, one or the other, vice versa. Uh, Snap-on, three-quarter drive, impact, 17 millimeter. Uh, I got this for the certain Freightliners have either a 17 millimeter or a 14 millimeter hex on the caliper. So I got one of these. This was a mistake buy, but it's come in handy every once in a while. It's the Milwaukee, I can't remember, that's three-quarter an inch. 50 millimeter impact socket. I don't use it as an impact socket. It's either a seal driver or on the rare occasion, it fits a two inch uh, spindle nut on a steer axle wheel seal. So that's about it for the top drawer. Oh, I missed these. These are the uh, Tecton USA made uh, crow's feet wrenches or sockets, excuse me. And these are three inch drive. The USA made goes all the way from five sixteenths to an inch in 16th i'm gonna eventually get the metric eventually as i said guys i have a lot of milwaukee hand tools call me names if you want that's fine you're entitled to your opinion but i've used these for a couple of years and they've worked i i can't complain i know they're not special in terms of the fact that if anyone knows and they'll know that there is like four brands that have this open end design icons one of them carlisle is one of them the reason why I like these over the, what I just said is because uh, the chrome, maybe not doing justice in this video, but brand new that is, the chrome is like darker but yet shiny. And right here, this is slightly rounded on the body. Whereas my buddy, my coworker has Icon. And there's nothing bad per se about them, but it's really flat right here. So when you're impacting without gloves or even with gloves, a flat body surface like that right here can get kind of painful or annoying or both but as it sits i have milwaukee this is the uh regular combination standard metric milwaukee flex head standard metric milwaukee ratcheting wrench uh standard and metric and all three of these sizes go from a quarter inch all the way up to uh an inch on the standard the metric go from 8 to 22 and seeing how there's a difference between the standard and the metric i then filled out the set went to stop at 22 i started at 23 all the way to 30. now full disclosure i admit kind of a waste of space i only use about four of these constantly but i rather have them and not eat them than eat them and not have them and they go from 23 to 30. Uh, in the middle, I have my Icon extra long ratcheting box end wrench, you know, from the old Hobo Freight. I have nothing bad to say about them. They're here. They work. 
I don't care that they're from Harbor Freight made by Icon. They work. And I have the standard. And the other side is the metric. Metric goes from, I believe, 10. Is it 10 or 8? 10. 10 to 19. And the standard goes from 3 8. Yep. To 3 quarter. And over here is the uh, the standard jumbo wrenches from an inch and 16 up to an inch and a half. With the oddball tectin in the middle. That's an inch and, five, uh, inch and 5 16. And yes, for those who want to ask would it, if it was milwaukee would you buy it yeah why not why wouldn't i have the same set but this being tech thing i've used it several times mainly as the torque arm nut size for the trailers uh whether they're adjustable or the solid torque arms that's the size and it works just fine so even though it's not milwaukee it's worked just fine i have nothing bad to say about it and in fact if i had to do it again i give tech another run by doing these all tech but i have what i have so here they are some of the trailer valves the emergency valve on the trailers are this size by the way in here i have what i call off brand no name but still highly useful from time to time uh thin wrenches got them from amazon used them a couple times and for nearly 30 dollars a set can't complain both of these are the same brand they're just one standard one metric and then this is the sun x stubby set from 5 16 i believe is it 5 16 but definitely up to an inch and i like this over say like the icon of the capri because those do not go to an inch anyone that works on freight liners knows when you're doing transmission lines for an eaten transmission when they attach the radiator it's a 7 8 or 22 tomato tomato and there's not a lot of room to swing this wrench so you break it free with this wrench and chase it with a stubby and that's why i wanted that set over say icon capri or gear wrench because they stop at 19 or three quarter depending on what size or set you have these go up to an inch uh let's see uh this is like little this little that drawer so on this side um now without starting any kind of argument ironically this is all snap on right here and i have them separate from this i did that because i we just recently got a snap on guy a about a year ago i've been here for almost four years so all this snap on stuff is in the grand scheme of things really new so i've had this for a long time so when i got other stuff that i wanted i just kept the sets because you got like this light blue gray black red pink together so what i have here is snap on you know flush cut pliers the two different crimpers you can buy the extra long and then well not extra long but long and then the short one extra long cutters needle nose regular pliers or i call them regular pliers um and i gotta admit there's always been that argument about how since recently icon's been uh copying the snap-on design but it's not snap-on i will say that for the price the icon stuff really isn't that bad but there's a difference in metal because for example i've been using uh where is it you can where is it I left it on the truck but there's a smaller version of these pliers right here and the teeth are still nice and i guess coarse i guess you can say whereas the icons i've used for almost two years and they are starting where are they they're starting to smooth out a little bit but then again when they're 19 dollars a plier versus 50 something Again, I am happy with the icons for being only 20 bucks and they lasted a little over a year and they're still going. It's just the metal starting to flatten out on the teeth. I'm happy with them. There's nothing wrong with them. And I've used both daily. Uh, the breast cancer awareness set. There's the small pliers I left on the truck. I had to go find after this. Angled needle nose, right angle needle nose. Very niche, but comes in handy. Uh, this Lyle um pigtail connector thing i don't know what it's actually called i can't remember i bought this and i use it exclusively for anyone that works on um 
Greenhouse Gas 17 after treatment one box systems on Freightliners, the GHG 17s. When you disconnect the DE, uh, the ACM harness, you have to like reach over top of it and grab it from the sides, and this is perfect for that. Uh, race driver punch from Snap On, salt uh, packets, husky little needle nose. It is what it is. Uh, a couple crow's feet from Hobo Freight, the Irwin uh, stripper cutter multi-purpose tool, Craftsman uh, snap ring pliers. Uh, I think this is an Irwin hose cutter, Harbor Freight, Hobo Freight. I'm sorry, I say that because I'm not trying to be offensive. I've heard it once from somebody, and it's just funny. I still like Harbor Freight for what they are. They're they're not downright terrible. But they're still, they have their place. But anyway, Hobo Freight needle nose set that I had for almost four years. The present wrenches are from Hobo Freight. Milwaukee V Jaw pliers. Bought them on a whim. I really only use them to grab filter caps because they do grab really well. And, you know, it is what it is. Amazon special for making or crimping pigtail connectors. Not the shrink wrap, but the actual terminal connectors. Oh, hold on. Stand by. Uh, Craftsman stripper and crimper. It's in here just in case, but I hardly use it. Doyle, aka Harbor Freight cutters, works fine. Doyle Harbor Freight vice grips. Again, no complaints for the price. Milwaukee side cutters again for the price they are what they are they work fine still and I keep them because if I want to bang up a pair of uh, cutters I'd rather bang up these than the snap-on ones Milwaukee vice grips I know they're not unique there's plenty on the market yeah I admit I bought them because of the name but served me well and I'm happy with them it's a flat one this is the quote unquote edel nose version of it and the various sizes of this. Uh, the case is, uh, let's see, uh, it's Amazon, I can't remember. But I use these for getting either A, uh, air dryer cartridges off of freight liners during the PM or various fuel filters on a reefer or anything honestly doyle extra long or extra big um water pump pliers i use them for testing the play in ball joints when compressing them um snap on pistol grip i don't know what this is called but i bought it i've used it three times and all three times it saved my ass i know icon has one but i bought this first uh hybrid freight mini phillips and mini flathead screwdrivers mainly bought them because they're really cheap to fix to turn the one screw on my glasses i mean they're like six bucks so six bucks for a screwdriver set for my glasses i actually use them believe it or not i'll use these to press the pin in my half inch drive sock uh my half inch drive uh impact because it's not a ring it's a pin detent and i'll use i'll use that to push in the pin ironically enough uh, generic panel popper from Walmart. It works. I use it once in a while. Milwaukee radiator hose pick set. It works. It's probably better for some people out there. Works for me. Uh, that's a snap on double sided hammer. I don't know the sizes, but it's not exactly the biggest one, but it's in the middle. That is a Husky 36 inch pry bar. Underneath that is uh, snap on long O ring picks. Milwaukee regular O-ring picks. I've lost one. Uh, snap-on feeler gauges. Mainly, I bought them when I when the snap-on guy first came. I was like, I gotta keep the snap-on guy happy. It's it's a mutual relationship. You're a business guy. You're here to make money. I gotta buy something to keep you happy. Yada yada yada. At the first time he came, I'm like, I need feeler gauges because you need to set the lash between the brake pad and the brake caliper on certain Wabco, I don't know if it's Wabco off the top of my head or Bendix, but one of the two systems you have to set lash between the pad and the outboard surface. So I bought them. Uh, Snap-on six piece hammer set. 
I already had this one in dark blue and this one in red. My Snap-on guy had the whole kit. I'm like, hey, you know, how much will this cost if I trade this back in and this back in to get the whole set? I walked away getting this for 600 bucks. I thought that was pretty decent for all this, plus two trade-ins, Snap-on, uh, I'm having a blank. Uh, I know they're pry bars, but breast cancer. Wow, there we go. Breast cancer awareness, pry bars. That is my middle drawer. Speed drawer, aka my miscellaneous drunk drawer, little thing of this and that. Knives for lunch, my Lyle anchor pin driver outer and setter. Now I have this because some of the spiders on our trailers are not hollow. And by hollow, I mean there's a gap between two parts of the spider, which you can take an air hammer to to push in the anchor pin. It crushes and then you can push it out and through. Now that's if it's hollow. If it's a solid piece, you're not getting in there. You have to press it completely out. That's a pain in the you know what, so I bought this for that. Various air hammer attachments, pickle fork, the various. Uh, these are for a 2015 and whatever else is close to it. Freightliner rear end, where we had to swap out the pumpkin. We used the bolts and cut off the heads as uh, guide bolts to slide the, you know, mount them into the housing and then slide the differential onto it. Um, you know, step drill bits, electrical tape. It's 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 miscellaneous. This is my homemade uh, anchor pin driver. Um, before I got that, and it's just a really long bolt with two nuts, crush washer, and washer. And you put the anchor pin here and steady it and just gently hit it with the hammer. A uh, little drain valve that I use with airline attachments. So if a truck is dead and can't be moved, you can at least put these in the air tank and then open the valve, fill it with air, and then shut the valve off, release the brakes, and tow it or push it into the garage. Uh, another air pressure sensor I got to clean up so I can reuse miscellaneous stuff. Uh, cage bolts, uh, chisels, punches, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Airline clips, extra lug nuts, S cam and slack uh, washers and snap rings and various uh, well stuff for your air tools and electric tools. Pens. Here's my air gun. Uh, AutoZone uh, offset wrench kit. I've cut them. I'm not afraid to make custom tools. It works. Uh, as I stated, I think I stated in the beginning, we just started doing alignments in house. It's not perfect. It's not with no fancy computer, which it's with lasers and a measuring tape. There's my shims for doing so to adjust the, the uh, forward or left movement of the rear end. Various radiator fittings and other air fittings back there. Uh, it's gonna sound weird guys, but I don't really have a need for anything really expensive for torque wrenches because the shop has a three quarter drive torque wrench. So it does what we need for the lug nuts and such and, and U bolts. We do leaf springs and stuff, but for the small stuff, uh, Icon half inch drive, Icon three inch drive. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight nut setter. And I use it probably three times a month. It works just fine. I have no complaints. Um, if it became a problem with their ability using it more and more, I'd upgrade it. But, you know, it works just fine. Uh, there's stuff in it. I don't know what the hell it is. Same thing for this. Armor all to clean the car. Uh, Amazon... Um, fitting extractor I guess you can call it I mean these are obviously rusty I've broken one but I've used them they come in handy it is what it is it was 25 bucks and I've used it probably 10 times and in my opinion 10 times for 25 bucks worth the money it's not worth upgrading it but it's been worth the money 
blue point uh, terminal tool kit, or as I call it, a D pinning pin, uh, air truck and hose, Harbor Freight, uh, Allen keys. I don't even use them. They're just there just in case. Uh, that is a filter wrench for uh, certain fuel filters, especially the new Cascadias. And if you finagle it right, it'll fit on an air dryer. Multimeter for Klein, the attachment tools or cords, whatever you want to call them from Amazon, works just fine. These are the extra long Torx as well as Allen's. They're a very sporadic use. I mean, I think personally, Tecton's a good middle road company, especially warranty wise. So I bought them because they're not that expensive. I use them once in a while, they come in handy. Torx extra long from T10 to T60. And this is the SAE and metric all the way from one eighth and six millimeters to three eighths and 10 millimeters. Again, don't use them a lot, but when I use them, they work just fine. Old Harbor Freight bit set I've had just in case I break all mine. Extra hole saws. This is a Milwaukee hole saw kit. Safety glasses, glasses for the torches, goggles, etc. and so forth. I don't even know, honestly. It's been a while. <laughs> Lyle race driver, Harbor Freight standard tap and die. And that's my air disc brake certification clipboard, nope stuff, miscellaneous wire, seven way hookup for a trailer for checking stuff for diagnostic and on PMs, um, extra chargers, um, coolant tester strips, uh, blue point, um, grease fitting for your upper or it's called grease joint revitalizer. It works. Sometimes it works and it doesn't, uh, it, it, it's earned its upkeep. It stays in the box. It works most of the time. Uh, another miscellaneous drawer. Like, got my dummy glad hands. Uh, I got radiator bushings down there that are used, but still really good condition because we go to the radiators and we want to replace them with new ones. But then I look at the old ones and I'm like, oh, they're really not that bad. So I save them in case of emergency if we can't get the part. Uh, stud cleaner for the tractors and trailers and then these are for passenger cars or the sprinter vans and then on top of that miscellaneous attachments you got the the cookie disc the cutoff wheels here and so forth sandpaper wheels as you can see um you know pledge cleaner the uh chain is for hoisting up the radiator or bolting the radiator so i can put it on the overhead hoist sorry for the camera Extra clamps that are still good, just in case. Um, Milwaukee M12 hole, uh, hacksaw, or sawzaw, whatever. Again, I use it once in a while, but when I use it, I'm glad I have it, because having a straight blade versus a disc, that has its advantages in very different scenarios. Uh, Milwaukee M18 light I had when I first started, completely obsolete for what I use for, but I have it just as another source, just in case. M12 die grinder cutoff wheel, extra battery. That is a uh, ABS modulator valve that's still good that I did for a brake recall. One was bad, this one was good. I kept it just in case because parts are still kind of wishy-washy to come by. Uh, let's see, extra, I believe this is an extra SCAM bushing kit. And uh, Yeah, PE parts exempt SCAM kit. Could we rob parts out of it, charge it out, but kept the extra. Six inch cutoff wheel and grinder, phenomenal. Uh, just phenomenal. Uh, M18 uh, die grinder, again, very niche purposes, but when I use it, it's phenomenal. You know, RTV, uh, air gun, which I don't really use much of. I use this to do, to uh, collect and then measure a DEF quantity test for after treatment diagnostics miscellaneous stuff uh power drawer um let's see now any of you guys that have epics know this supposed to be a an electric um 
outlet and stuff here. I have it, it's home. I took it out because I, I don't use it. My charging is up there, it is what it is. I'll go to that after in a minute. M12 uh, batteries, M18 batteries, as you can see. The uh, brackets are from Neat Tools, N E A T T O O L S.com. And I drilled into the uh, snap on bracket and just put tiny, whatever bolt size they are, to hold the brackets down. I did that myself. Same thing for this, drilled into the side of the box, but not through, not, well, actually. Yeah, it's through that, but it's not touching that when it goes in. Drilled through that, mounted my M12 batteries, my two uh, M12 overlights, which replaced the M18. I mean, it's got a magnet. I think it's brighter. Uh, I got th uh, four um, CP 3.0s, two XC 6.0s, and uh, HE 12.0s. I have two of them. I mainly use them uh, 12.0s for the new half inch drive and for the one inch that's in the cabinet. Uh, speaking of one uh, half inch is the uh, new half inch drive Milwaukee, the newest one. Um, this is the newest version at the time of recording of the half inch mid torque. This is my go to even in HD heavy duty diesel um, because I'm doing spring bolt bushings. That has enough juice to take most of them out as long as they're not severely corroded and in place. This, as long as coworkers don't stupidly full send the lug nuts on the tires with the one inch in, uh, Ingersoll Rand, this will take lug nuts off relatively easy. Uh, 3 h drive stubby, had this for a long time. It, it's like the Glock 19 of my work, honestly. Uh, three, this is a maximum of three sixteenths of a rivet gun. Um, I use it once in a while and I'm glad I have it. So I'm not using the hand pump, but it's not exactly the most used thing, but I still use it. Uh, M18, uh, red angle die grinder cutter. And yes, it's called a die grinder, but I've used it as a cutoff wheel. And as long as it's light duty, it works just fine. Uh, M18 hex driver impact. It's not the newest one, but it's not brushed. It's definitely a brushless model. So I don't know exactly which one it is, but it's it's got a few years on it. Same thing for this drill. Had this one of my first Milwaukee tools when I started in, in the garage in 2019. Use it daily. Still going strong. No complaints. And then the round up tour bottom drawer miscellaneous stuff extra socket rails bigger crescent wrench my older air tools when i first started as an apprentice i bought everything and anything i could from what i call the big three not the big three tool trucks but the big three local home depot lowe's and harbor freight i had to get in here and get my own tools so i spent what i could on what i could and that was a mix again of home depot harbor freight and lowe's and that's my air tools for that and they still work. I occasionally use them purely out of nostalgia, but they still work. I can't complain. And finally, the top part of the, the last part of the tour on the top part of the box, I got the stainless steel top. Um, I cut the mat that came with the box without the top and I left it so the upper part of the toolbox was shown, but protecting this because that's where the majority of the meat potatoes are um it is what it is stainless steel is going to get scratched one way or another but i try to take care of it tablet for work tub of towels to clean the two milwaukee tape measures so when i'm lining up and measuring the lasers on the front and rear axle the freight line is for an alignment my wife found that i think it's kind of cool miscellaneous harbor freight metal uh <laughs> metallic <laughs> magnetic trays uh, tow hooks that I got to put back in a truck that I just put a bumper on because the driver decided to run over a big rock and put a giant hole in an oil pan, destroy the bumper, wreck the plate and the R12 valve, but he's got to go back on it. And then this is the, uh, mini toolbox chest that came with this when I bought it. It's been through many renditions of, <clears throat> renditions of how I want to do my setup, but I settled on this in, in, the, in the current situation, meaning... 
I've had different stuff in this, and right now this is how I have it. This is my drill bit set up, uh, all my drills. Uh, I believe that's uh, inch and eighth, three sixteenths, quarter, uh, miscellaneous big ones. Uh, shear adapters for adjusting calipers, extra ones, keys to lockers, eh, keys to lockers, get in there, uh, <laughs> nail clippers, uh, this is my feeler gauges before I upgraded, tool for brake drum measurements, an older uh, caliper, open it with one hand but I can't because I'm having a moment you guys get it there should be a tire tread depth measure but it's not in there for some reason but yeah that's uh that's my tour sorry for being long and monologue I thought it'd be quick but looking at my camera it's been 41 minutes almost I apologize I ran through it kind of monologue-ish but that's my setup that's what I've been using daily for the last I say two years, even though I've been in here for four, I say two because the last two years is when I've had the vast majority of my mainline tools, my upgrades, my this and that. But I've been in the garage for four years and this is what I amassed. I understand people have opinions and I'm willing to hear opinions, even if they're negative, because, you know, I'm not looking to argue, but you know, I, I don't mind explaining myself further about why I have what I have because what works for me might not work for you. Or it might be that you have too much pride that you don't like what I have, and that's fine. We can talk about it. But as a, as a daily diesel fleet tech, this is what I use. And I described what I do. And to give you an example, I just took that radiator out yesterday and to take the radiator out with the tools that I have on a daily basis because with 70 something Freightliners, they like to go through radiators like cake. My tools work. Any comments, questions, please leave them. I hope you enjoyed despite my monologue. Have a good day.